Welcome back to The Ed Show. The Ron Paul campaign has landed the endorsement of a reverend whose beliefs are absolutely jaw-dropping. The Reverend Philip G. Kaiser thinks homosexuals should be executed. But the Paul campaign was thrilled to get Reverend Kaiser's endorsement, putting on their website saying in a press release on Paul's website, we welcome Reverend Kaiser's endorsement and the enlightening statements he makes on how Ron Paul's approach to government is consistent with Christian beliefs. But later, Paul's camp scrubbed the news of Kaiser's endorsement from its website. No explanation was given. It turns out Reverend Kaiser is in favor of what he calls biblical law including the execution of homosexuals. He has written about it. As we have seen, he says, while many homosexuals would be executed, the threat of capital punishment can be restorative. Kaiser confirmed all of this when contacted and interviewed by Talking Points Memo. He said he didn't see much hope for it happening anytime soon. But he did say, under a Ron Paul presidency, states would be freed up to not have political correctness imposed on them. I'm joined tonight by Mike Rogers, Managing Director of RawStory.com. Mike, good to have you with us tonight. The Paul campaign welcomed the Reverend's endorsement. Now, we're talking about a Reverend who makes extremists look tame by comparison. What do you make of this, and is this damaging? Well, I think that this is typical Ron Paul. You know, we've seen him kind of disavow things he said in the past, and he likes to work this kind of what he wants to market as a kind of libertarianism, but this is, you see, is the end result. He wants to free up states to be able to do things like this Reverend wants. So it's no surprise that he touted his endorsement, and then with the, with the sheer insanity of such statements, I think that the pressure came that he had to get it down. Do you think that the Paul Camp just didn't vet the Reverend very well, and maybe they didn't know he had said that? Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't be so convinced totally. I mean, there is the chance that they didn't do the proper work. We've seen them falter time and time again. But we've seen him make these statements and then kind of backtrack time and time again. So I think that there might actually be a strategy out there in which he throws out this kind of incendiary stuff because he knows it fires up that, that base. But in reality, what happens is, is he pretends that it's this whole libertarian kind of thing. But what he wants to do is just take those rights and the civil rights that have been afforded and throw it back to state control. For yeah. example, Lawrence v. Texas is a great example. He wants the state of Texas to basically make being gay illegal if they want to. And we hope that there's a higher court, the Supreme Court, that'll stop that from happening under a no. Ron Paul presidency. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty much in the context of, of Paul trying to disavow other extreme positions in these newsletters years ago that are now dogging his campaign. Paul wants to be bold, but he also seems to attract, uh, you know, a fringe element that's out there. And it is out in Iowa. The guy does have support. He's getting massive crowds compared to the other candidates. What, what do you make of all of this? Well, I think a lot of it is uh, pretty kind of crazy marketing because what he's really hoping for is a kind of reconstructionist growth of uh, where Christian law and the Bible are what become one law with the uh, civil law. It's interesting, these yeah. are the guys who scream the most about the infringement of Sharia law supposedly coming to our country. But what they want, what Michelle Bachman went to college for to learn, was how do we take these laws and make our laws as a civil society more in line with biblical teachings. And I think that those are the people that Ron Paul is trying to signal by this, and it puts out the kind of message that he's looking yeah. look, looks for in a positive way, and then has to backtrack, as we've seen time and time again. I think he's feeding the fire and knows what he's doing with that. Well, we should point out that uh, Paul's Iowa State Director, his name is Mike Heath, uh, he's got plenty of baggage of his own. He tried to out gay members of the main legislature, according to Talking Points Memo. And uh, he's now focusing on Paul's outreach uh, to the Christian right in Iowa. Uh, interesting track record and assignment, don't you think? Well, it is. It's, uh, you know, again, it's kind of these dirty political tricks. And, of course, we've talked about these issues before. And people like you who cover them in a responsible way. And then we see folks like Ron Paul and the people who are following him. And it's all, it shows the kind of followers that he has. They're just like a little bit off center. Yeah. Uh, that they're, do you that think that, do, i, I got to ask you quickly before we go. Do you think that Ron Paul needs to make a statement 
uh, on gay marriage? Does he need to make a very crystal clear on how he feels about the gay community in this country in, in the wake he- of this endorsement? I think he does, and what he'll say is, I don't think the government should be involved in marriage, and he'll wave it off, but what we really need to realize is he doesn't think the federal government should be involved in guaranteeing rights. He believes that every state should be able to discriminate.